Okay, guys. So what I've done here, um, originally, if you remember, the filter was mounted right here, facing this way, and got to thinking about it, had a an epiphany. Uh, I was going to build a shield there to keep water splash from the tire kicking up directly onto the filter. Now I won't waste my time doing that. And I thought about, okay, well, uh, bought a couple different pipes, trying to get it to 90, then... Uh, 45 and, and finally was able to get just a 90 degree uh, silicone coupler and then use one of the bends of the other pipes to get it up where I wanted it. So it is up a little bit higher now, uh, just a little bit higher, but the better part is uh, I don't have to worry about the wheel splash anymore. So that was that was a goal that I wanted to um, get taken care of. Also, the turbo and stuff is clocked the way I need it now. I've clocked the center section so that the inlet and outlet of the oil um, ports are vertical. I'm about to take off the turbo assembly itself because I need to weld the um, V-band for the wastegate pipe, uh, the flange. Need to weld that on there, and I've got the I've got to weld the flange for the pipe that goes from the V-band to the actual wastegate. And uh, so I want to get that set up today. And after that, it's pretty much um, I'm going to wrap the pipes, run the oil in and out hoses uh get that oil pump set up that part should all go pretty quickly because this has been the part that's been the real time consumer here i thought about because the rear mount would offer a lot of benefits in terms of what everybody knows they offer in regards to being in the rear instead of the engine bay but one of the things i thought would be nice was i wouldn't have to fabricate an exhaust manifold for it well Maybe on a pickup truck or an SUV where you got tons of room and you can pretty much just, I mean, it's a simple thing. This took a lot of thought, took a lot of process to keep everything nice and um, packaged, but at the same time, keep it out of the way of suspension components and all kinds of stuff. So this took longer than an exhaust manifold would have took to make. So, and it's the first time I've done it. So just trying to make sure that, you know, I don't overlook anything and, and, you know, cross the T's, dot the I's sort of thing. So we're not there yet, but we are almost. And so next update ought to have um, pretty much the the pipes wrapped, uh, the hoses ran. Hopefully I can start it up and we'll see the turbine turning or the um, compressor wheel turning and all that good stuff. All right. And let me show you real quick this other where the air filter's at. And right here, um, as you can see, the filter's right here. And it's going to come out of the turbo, dip down just a hair, and then kick right back up. So it is mounted a little bit higher than where it was. But again, like I said, um, there is protection from the wheel splashing. And I can make a small shield, like a 90-degree triangular-shaped shield right there. That's easy. And I've got some aluminum thin plate stock that I can use for that, and I will do that. But short of that... Um, and I guess when it's on here, um, when the pipe, when the uh, tip for the exhaust is here, you're not going to be able to see it either. Uh, I had to go with red. Uh, they only had lime, green, and yellow to choose from from these filters. So I'd rather, I would have preferred black for like more of a stealth look, keep, you know, hide it and all. But it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to get the wastegate put on here and update after. All right, and so... This is basically the monstrosity. You got your air intake going into the turbo, coming out of the turbo. You got your support. This is, for all intents and purposes, your header going into the turbo. I goofed and put the circle for the um, V-band too far up here, and it was hitting the uh, spare tire well. So I had to move it down. A friend of mine patched it up for me because I wasn't about to go find another flange to weld something to again. It was just going to be a nightmare. Really fitting this thing has been the real challenge, making sure everything would clear. Of course, ease of access once I got it all together. You know, could I take it apart? Could I take a bunch of parts, uh, pieces off without having to take the whole thing down, that kind of thing. So it's been a kind of a challenge for that alone, thus the multiple welds and, and all that good stuff. Is it the most attractive? <laughs> You know, man, I have seen worse exhaust manifolds, but uh, and they weren't on my car. But uh, but anyway, this is what I end up with: V-band clamp here, 
Um, spin around the other side. The, um, of course, the, the down pipe will be coming out here. And I'm going to tee it off and go to dual um, tips in the back. And uh, so you got this here. And then, of course, my wastegate here. I think I've got the 10 pound spring in here. So we'll start at 10 pounds. This is going to be the, I'll probably just buy another little piece to kick it down, but it's just gonna vent the atmosphere. The actual pipe, when it comes out here, it's gonna swing around this way. So I could, I could join it when one of the wires comes out there. So I could join it in here. Man, why? It don't matter. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, just pretty much, that's it. This big monstrosity is going to be my turbo manifold slash downpipe slash intake. Everything all in one, hanger, it's all done. Um, I'm gonna get this, basically I'm gonna take it apart, go ahead and put uh, some copper spray gasket in between here because I don't have a gasket for it. And the copper spray is fine, it worked on my last setup, it's okay. Um, gonna take all these off. Pretty much do the same thing. There is a gasket in here. Um, just where there's not, make sure all the bolts are tight. I'm going to clean up the inside of the pipes from any dust and, you know, welding BBs and whatever that got inside there. Certainly don't want to feed that into the, the turbine here. Um, I've got my... the uh, I'm going to run a restrictor. We'll see how it goes. Uh, of course, as you can see, it clears the 90 um, 4AN clears. That's going to be the feed, and the bottom is not going to be a problem. Now that this is done, like I'd said prior, everything's going to go pretty quick now. So hopefully, in the next couple to few weeks, I'll have it all up and running. Everything will be good, and of course, I'll post that up, get up underneath the car, show how I did the intake uh, piping from the turbo to the front, uh, and so yeah, we're close, almost there.